Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys a process on how to get the functionality of the edge panels from our Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus over to other Android devices that don't have that built in. This is TK. Let's check it out. So the feature that I'm talking about today is the edge panel. So this is something that we've had for some time. You can swipe between them, customize them, use them and do all the different things. You can even download additional ones. Now the panels obviously are organized by basically the now playing calendar, weather, edge and an app uh, edge. I can add apps, of course, recent SMS and all of the different things that you normally used to. And of course, once you're done, you click the background and it goes away. It's a beautiful, perfect side launcher, very different than uh, the normal app launcher that we normally have here because you get to customize it to the way you want. Switching over to our other device, what you need to do is download this application. It's called the Edge Screen Sidebar Launcher and Edge Music Player. Open it up after you install it. It's going to give you some option. I'm going to say no thanks for now. Uh, and then by default, it's an ad supported version. You can go in and upgrade. Uh, there's options there. You can do the a la carte option. You can go into the premium option. And then the first day after you install it, there is a sale for $2.99 where you get all three of these guys. So there's no advertising, the edge music and the edge uh, music, the my files edge. And I'll show you guys what I mean by these tabs. Uh, going in, you obviously need to turn on the, uh, the actual service itself. You can disable uh, the allow notifications, so it's a pop up at the top. Uh, managing the edge panels themselves by default, this is the ones that are installed. So the apps edge is installed, people's edge, quick tools, soft keys, calendar and screenshot. Uh, what it's missing, as I mentioned to you guys, is the one that if you want to be able to download the additional ones, those are the, uh, you can purchase extra ones. And those are at $1.49 each, detailed in there. Uh, you can say handle settings, you can customize the handle, the position of it, the transparency, the offset, the height and width, as well as the color, of course. Uh, and of course, the background is the background on the actual background on the itself. So when you notice here, when I open it, I had a personal image that is in here and I gave it some transparency. And that's just where you set it up. You can set the blurance level, transparency and or you can go with a solid color that they give you. Uh, clicking on the image here will open up your gallery and you can change it to your personal liking. Uh, now more edges those are the additional ones i was mentioning to you guys here it is the music edge as well as the my files edge and those things are separately purchased and once you download them you'll be able to access them directly uh, again they give us the option to remove ads version of the application is 1.0 tutorial on how to use it like them subscribe and of course all the good stuff for them uh, but let's go ahead and start using the actual panel so similarly the way we have it on our uh, s7 or s9 i just swipe from the right i'm able to customize all of these guys by going into the settings Swiping one more time gives me access to the toggles here. I can increase, reduce volume in here. I can also change locations. You notice how quickly it is. Now, there's two ways of getting out of it. You either click on the background or you click the back button. Uh, and that's basically how you get in and get out of it. And again, it works over any other applications. You notice home doesn't work for us. So let's say I go into the uh, Google Play Store. I can swipe. I still have access to it. Uh, you have some functionalities to be able to turn on the power menu as, you know, just shortcuts if you'd like to do those again. Uh, and of course, you can add calendar events and add the additional options. The screen recording is built in when you activate it for the first time. It'll give you access to be able to say, hey, we're just going to start recording your screen. Uh, last screen here is my missed calls. And uh, this is basically call history. And you can, again, customize all of that. You go into the settings, takes you back into the actual panel settings themselves. And then, of course, as I mentioned to you guys, you notice right there, I can change the color for it. It's going from different options. And of course, the offset, the height, the width, and then the transparency. You can also make it a little bit more transparent. Let's go ahead and if we can do that, you'll notice the transparency level just goes up. You can keep it either very, very visible or very, very minimal. So that way it doesn't really protrude too much. And then changing by deleting all the apps that you have and you can add the ones that you'd like. As you saw, installation and setup is pretty simple. Uh, just download the application, give it the right permissions and it should work. Now on my LG device, there was a couple of hiccups there, but I'm assuming that something can get fixed down the road. I couldn't get the torch or the uh, flashlight in the back to work, but other stuff were working. I was able to get the brightness level to work, uh, Bluetooth on and off. So different things will work. I am running on the G7 ThinQ in this demo, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. It's a free app. If you want to support the developer and go ad free, of course, there's a little premium there. And of course, there's additional tan panels that you can download and uh, customize as well. Like and subscribe as usual. Let me know of any other applications that you guys are using that you think maybe the community here on the channel would love to be able to see in a video, obviously, you know, next time. Uh, but other than that, thank you very much for the support for all these years and for all the new people that just joined the channel. Welcome to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.